still a bit left. There. Well, this still stinks, so you really should go take a shower. I just took a shower. That'll teach you. Next time, you'll get your zits popped before you take a shower. Fundamentals. The apple brew should be ready by now. Looks like it is. There's an uprising in the apiary. The factories on down are at a standstill. Beauty is complete havoc. The revolutionary forces have stood heavy losses, but everything could still change. The remaining able-bodied survivors have taken up arms and gather on top to launch the last offensive. Your many years working in a revolutionary cell have turned you into a natural leader. The crowd behind you is awaiting instructions. I march on the council. Some of the revolutionaries in your group have taken issue with your decision. They wanted to put an end to the matchmaker's dictatorship, but they cannot imagine a society without the council. Ugh, Borons! They're wanting to split up. They head for the matchmaker. I forbid them. We need to present a united front if we intend to achieve anything. They hesitate for a moment, but they don't want to risk an internal conflict. So they choose to follow you, but cautiously. The revolutionary mass is very menacing, but internal tensions are still palpable. You finally arrive in front of the council's palace, but as you start ramming into the doors, they open on their own, unleashing an army of hornet drones who are hiding inside. Loot! The hornets charge. They neutralize your first line within a few seconds. Some of them are moving swiftly towards your flanks. They're trying to surround you. We press on. Press on! You shout your order, but your voice is drowned out by other shouts. Other self-proclaimed leaders seem to want to take the lead. Integrating the seceded group seems to have heightened the divisions. No one is paying attention to you any longer, nor are they paying attention to anyone else. The Hornets take advantage of the chaos to zoom through your ranks, neutralizing anyone within reach. You feel the end coming. The revolution has been stifled! Suddenly, right under your feet, a trap door opens. You see K signaling for you to come down. I follow him. You go down the ladder. The underground tunnels lead you to a secret spatial port where the nest is awaiting you, ready to take off in case things take a turn. And take a turn they do. Kay takes your hand to lead you in. I press his body against mine. After being routed by the hornets, the warmth of his body feels very comforting. Kay lays his hands below your hips and presses his lips against yours. I take his t-shirt off. He allows you, then helps take yours off. Your breasts are pressed against his burning chest. Kay puts his hand behind your neck and a shiver goes through your body. You can no longer hear the commotion outside. Your spirit is captured by the taste of his saliva. The smell of his sweat. I let him have his way. Kay's lips slide along your cheek. His hand slides along your spine. You can feel his penis rubbing on your stomach. And as Kay sinks his teeth into your neck. Okay, stop. Stop talking. Show me.